This is the TSIA um, slant and it stands for triple sugar iron auger. So the three sugars would be glucose, sucrose, as well as lactose. So we're going to see if the bacteria can uh, eat those sources of sugar and that allows us to differentiate um, what type of bacteria they are. Also you'll notice uh, the slant has an aerobic region and an anaerobic region and we'll be inoculating both regions for this one. Now um, we will also look for gas production with this as well as um, the, uh, the formation of black hydrogen sulfide precipitate and whether or not they are growing in the aerobic or anaerobic region and if they can um, metabolize those sugars to produce acid or alkaline byproducts in those regions. This is sim media. Notice that if I turn it to the side, the medium actually is solid in there. And so that's because there is auger, auger in this medium. Uh, and the sim uh, stands for sulfur, indole, and motility, which are three things we will be testing for. So we will stab this one straight down and up along the same line. If the bacteria swim away from the inoculation line, we know they are motile. If they do not swim away from the line, then we know they're non-motile. We will be looking for hydrogen sulfide formation, which is the black precipitate. Um, and we will also be looking for indole production. And we will have to add some extra reagents to this when we come back after inoculation in order to detect the presence of um, indole. And the bacteria will produce indole if they can metabolize tryptophan. So if they can break down tryptophan using tryptophanase enzyme, they will produce indole as a byproduct. Okay, and we detect that by adding COVAX reagent um, when we come back to look at the data uh, once it has been incubated. Now the next test is the INVIC. So the INVIC has four parts. It's an indole test, I for indole methyl red test, so M for methyl red, V for Vogue's Proskauer, okay. and the C for Simmon citrate. So the Simmon citrate is the citrate test that comes as a slant. It starts off green like this. If it changes to blue and we see some growth there, then we know that uh, this bacterium can use citrate as its sole source of carbon. Um, there is a Coser citrate test that will test the same thing, uh, but it comes as a liquid medium. We won't be actually inoculating that today, but it is another option uh, for the citrate test. Okay, so we're going to be inoculating these three sets. To do that, make sure you are working near the flame at all times, as usual. So here I have my flame and I always want to set things up in my test tube rack in a way that is um, organized. So here I have C for Undi, but then I also have all the tubes that I will be inoculating for that particular bacterium. This one I have E. erogenes and all the tubes that I'll inoculate for that and then E. coli and then all the tubes all inoculate for that. So you always want to get set up and get really organized. The next thing you want to do is always label your tubes. So on this tube here I have CF for C. frondi, I have SIM, that's the test, and then the date. You also want to write on here your initials um, so that you know that it belongs to you. Notice that I'm working right next to my flame and what I'll go ahead and do is flame my loop. Pull my loop. And once it's nice and cool, I'm going to inoculate all the tubes uh, that need to be inoculated with C for Undi first. So I go ahead and open that up. And I'm going to go in and scoop some up. Okay, come up without touching the sides. Go ahead and close it. 
and I'm going to start with my triple sugar iron auger. So the idea with this is I'm going to stab all the way down first, and as I come out, I'm going to swipe it along the slant. Okay, so I go down, try to go down without touching the sides, pierce the auger and go all the way to the bottom, come up along the same line, and then drag it along the slanted portion and then come out without touching the side. Close it up. And you want to leave the cap loose like this. So I like to tighten it all the way and then give it a half turn. So you tighten it and give it a half turn. That way the um, gases can escape, uh, but also oxygen can enter um, in order to allow the bacteria to respire or breathe. And okay, we fling your loop. And that's how you inoculate a SIM test, or a TSIA. But I'm going to do the SIM next. So I pick up my SIM tube here, and I'm going to go ahead and open that. Oh, hang on, let me get my bacteria first. So I get my bacteria, and I'm going to open that. I'm going to go in without touching the sides. Scoop up one scoop of bacteria. And then I'm going to open up my SIM test. And basically what you want to do here is you're going to stab all the way to the bottom. Come up along the same exact line you made. And come out without touching the side. Close that up. And with these, you want to leave the, the cap loose. Okay, loose but not falling off. Again, we want the bacteria to be able to breathe. And that's how you inoculate a SIM test. And the next uh, tubes are four tubes. Okay, and so I have them in order here. IMVC for the Invic test. What I'm going to do is pick up one scoop of bacteria and I'm just going to go doot 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 and then I will inoculate that one as well. Okay. And you should have a lot of uh, bacteria on your loop to just do all four. So we're going to cool that. Pick up my C for Undi. Go in without touching the sides. And I want to pick up bacteria. Come out. Okay. Close that up. So I'm going to go in here and just swish it around. That's one. Loose cap. We should still have enough for this one. Loose cap. We should still have enough for this one. Loose cap. And then, so those three I just did with one scoop, but for the last one, I'm going to take another scoop there. Okay, so scoop up some bacteria. I'm going to open my cement citrate. It comes as a slant here. Now, Unlike the TSIA where I stabbed it, I'm not going to stab this one. I'm just going to make a line, swipe a line down the slanted region. So you don't want to stab this one. Okay, leave the cap loose. Claim your loop. And you have finished inoculating the TSIA, the SIM, and the Invic for one of your bacteria. Now you will have to do the rest.